told Ari, hey, we're all finna blow up in like five minutes because my roommate is a sociopath. It's like, I thought I was, it was the end of the world. I thought I was like, peace out to me. I thought I was dead. I thought I was through. If you're looking for a winner, follow love. Looking for a dance. Looking for supreme. Looking for a queen. button and the notification bell so that you'll be notified every single time I make a video but if you're an OG welcome back so today I'm sure you can tell what the video is going to be about by the title but I have a story time for you guys let me tell y'all the tea I wish I had some wine so this could be like a wine with wine but <sighs> okay so y'all this is going to be a story time on the time my roommate literally tried to kill us and like 300 other people um this is a story time about how she literally set our dorm room um our dorm complex on fire so to give you guys a little bit of background information um i graduated from the university of southern mississippi to the top this was my freshman year so this was around october of 2015. um so yeah it was my freshman year on college and to give you guys a um, little view of the setup we were in a um one of the more lux luxury how do you say that word <laughs> luxurious i hate that word luxurious modern newer um buildings so the way our building was set up we went, i think we had six floors um i think we stayed on the sixth floor so we had six um we had six floors right and so every single room um came with its own bathroom and little wash area when you walk into the room to the left is you and your roommate, so it's me. I'm gonna call her, I wonder if I should say her name. We're friends now, but I don't know if she wants me to put her. I'm just gonna say Ashley. I'm sure she don't care, cause I already told her I was gonna do this video. Um, So she was like, okay, oh my gosh, go ahead and do it. Um, So yeah, I'm just gonna call her Ashley just for you know her security purposes. So me and Ashley, right, we were roommates. Um, when you walk into our room, there was a bathroom to the left. It had our own, we had our own private shower and a toilet, right? Okay, cool. And then to the right, we had our sink area where, you know, we get dressed, wash our face. and I mean, not get dressed, but we wash our face, brush our teeth and everything in the morning time. We had our own little space like that. And then when you walk through, my bed was on the right and then her bed was on the left. And we had, a, we had our own personal uh, refrigerators and then she had a microwave on her side. Okay. You guys. <sighs> Let me take y'all back. Let me take y'all back, man. As I do so well. Me and Ashley through this site. It was like kind of when you're the summer before you get ready to go to college, they have like this find a roommate website through Southern Miss. And I was on there and I came across her page and I was like, hey, you want to be roommates? She was like, sure, blah, blah, blah. So that's how we became roommates. Y'all have another story time on how um, I tried to get her kicked out. Or I, try, I actually moved out of the room. It's a long story. I'll do another story time on that later. Actually, it's going to be a mukbang. She was more of the party. She was more of the party type of girl. When we first got to college, I was all sad. Y'all, every single day I went to bed like at 6 o'clock. Because I was so sad. I was so I was homesick. That's the way I was so, so homesick. Even though my college was only two hours away, my family, you know, my boyfriend at the time, everybody just dropped me off and left, you know, and like, I was like all there by myself. So it was kind of like a crisis for me. It was a really tough time. Um, and so I was really, really sad. I remember being really sad that freshman year until around January to the next semester. I had met some friends and I was out doing more. But when I first moved in, I was very quiet. Um, me and my roommate, we did stuff together. Um, and then we kind of fell off. So this is, maybe I should have did the part where we fell off first before this one. Anyway, we fell off, right? So we weren't speaking, we weren't talking, none of that at this time. So she was talking to a boy, right? <laughs> she was talking to this boy. He was also a student at Southern Miss. And I think he was like a junior. Or I think, yeah, I think he was a junior at the time. In our dorm, we can let people stay the night, but I think they have to be the same sex. It has to be the same sex. So, like, your girl cousin or whatever, if they wanted to come stay the weekend with you, all you have to do is fill out a form uh, at least 24 hours in advance, and then that's how they're able to stay with you. Um, but if not, other than that, then, 
you know, you can't have anyone staying with you. Although, I don't know how they would know now that I think about it. We were in a co-ed dorm. Yeah, because girls was on the first floor. Bo no, boys was on the first floor. Girls on the second. Boys on the third. Girls on the fourth. Boys on the fifth. And then girls on the sixth. We were on the sixth, right? So every um everybody had their boys were on their own floors and so were girls and so she was talking to one of the boys he wasn't even he wasn't even in our building he was in one of the older buildings so i remember one night she texted me she said hey i'm gonna be having company over and i was like okay whatever because anytime we invite someone over then i'm like you know do what you want to do you know what i'm saying it's, it's really kind of awkward especially if i'm like in the room and i never mind you i never wanted to leave the room because i was just so sad i was really into pretty little liar so literally freshman year that's that's all I watched. That's all I did. So she texted me this, and I was like, "Okay, that's fine." Um, and so the boy came in the room. I remember when they came into the room. Her and this guy, right? I don't know his name. Uh, I know he was like a junior because she told me about him. But anyway, he was a junior. So they came into the room, right? And uh, me and her, we were talking. Whatever. She introduced me to him. I'm like, "Hey, how are you?" And they asked me that I want to go to a party that night. And I was like, no, because y'all, when I tell y'all I did nothing for the first four months of college, I did absolutely nothing. Um, or rarely did absolutely nothing. Um, I was like, no, I'm good. And she was like, no, come, come, come. You should come with me, blah, blah, blah. Now, mind you, every time we walk out of our dorm, we have to use our, I mean, no. Every time we come into our dorm, we have to swipe in. We have to swipe in every single time we come into our dorm. So whenever you bring a guest um, to the dorm, they'll give you, um, you swipe your ID and then they'll take his ID. So he can't get his ID back until he leaves. So like, let's say if my boyfriend wanted to come over during that time, he would have to give them his ID and he'll get it back whenever he left. And so that way they knew at the end of the night, if they still had their ID, then they're like, hey, why is he still here? I think the time for them to leave was like 11 or 12 o'clock probably 12 o'clock so um sh they went out to a party right i didn't go i stayed in um i don't think I, yeah i was by myself at this time and when they came back it was about 11 o'clock and i remember because um she thought i was asleep i pretended to be asleep mind you we had fallen off at this we had fallen out at this point so we weren't speaking so she had um she was talking to him um and she was like where are we gonna do it and I'm like, do it. Oh my God, please don't let them do it while I'm right here. Mind you, I didn't know what they're talking about. They're thinking I'm asleep. Well, I wasn't, of course. So I was like, where are we going to do it? And he was he was like, I don't know, blah, blah, blah. We should just do it here. Okay, so they were talking. My, um, And mind you, she was like, do you want to do it right here? And I'm like, oh my God, please. We we, we weren't, no. We, we ain't that type of party. <laughs> Sitting there, y'all, I'm sweating profoundly. Remind you, like, any awkward situations like this, I, do, I mean, is it just me? Like, I was just sweating bullets. I'm like, oh, my God, please don't let them. I'm going to throw up. Like, please just don't let them do it in here. I went to the little, her little stash, and I know she gets some food. Like, she gets some food out. So, I'm laying like this, right? My bed, it's like a queen. So, twin. So, my bed is here. And hers is like a few feet away from me, all on the other side. Mind you, all of her things, her refrigerator and her microwave are like over there. I was like this right here. Like, with my face covered so they couldn't know I was asleep, but I could also see what they're doing at the same time because, you know, you can't trust niggas. Not her, but I couldn't, you know, the dude she brought with her. So, she got some food. Um, Now, I know what it is. It's macaroni, right? So, she gets the... Do y'all know like the macaroni that that you add water in, and put it in the microwave for like three minutes and then it's done? Yeah, it was that kind of it was that it was that. And then all I know is she was like, okay, when it goes off, you stay in here and I'll go down. I'm like, what is she talking about? How we leave out our door locked? So he she get she gave him her key, right? And I'm just at this point I'm kind of skeptical, like what the like what? So she gave him the key and she was like, you know, when when this when an alarm goes off, you stay here. So our room is here. There's a room in front, in front of us, of course, and there's room on down. And right beside our room, we had like this little study room. People went in there, they hung out and stuff like that, or go fix them something to eat because it was like a full-blown kitchen in there. Puts the macaroni in there with no water um, and, you know, start it up. So I think she put it on like four or five minutes and she didn't put any water in there. So it begins to smoke and the alarm goes off. Mind you, the alarm is so, what's the word? so it's just so loud and the flash the lights go off and it's everything is blinking and it's just like beep 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 
Get on in the comment, tell us to evacuate the building. Mind you, at this time, I'm like, what did this just do? When the alarm came off, I'm still laying in my bed. I'm like, what the crap? And so I get my phone, um, put on me some clothes. And as I'm getting dressed, well, I had clothes on, but I'm like a jacket because it's obviously cold at this time. So I give me like a little um, jacket and put on. And as I'm putting on my jacket, her boyfriend comes back into the room. And I'm like, um, I think there's a fire, so we should probably leave. And he was like, yeah, I'm going to be down. I was like, okay, whatever. <laughs> you, you stay, baby. I'll go. I'll go. You stay. And so as we're as I'm leaving out of the room, um, I look in the study room and the freaking microwave blows up in flames. It was just smoked out. It was like I thought I was it was the end of the world. I thought I was like, peace out to me. I thought I was dead. I thought I was through. I was having a panic attack and then there's so many people down like trying to make it out. Mind you, we couldn't use the elevator, so it was very, very hectic. Um <laughs> like three hundred people trying to get on some stairs I like the stairs and it just wasn't a good look Who ever accidentally put a fork or a spoon in the microwave and it popped and you know how bad that scares you so imagine if it just literally blows up into flames yeah yeah imagine that look and so by the time I make it outside guess who I see my roommate literally a psychopath she's just sitting there you know we're outside and she's just there just pacing back and forth as we were going in we all had to swipe in that process was so freaking long bro i swiped in she swiped in you okay cool we both went back up to the room we stayed outside for like an hour the microwave was just gone it was through for it and i'm like what the how do you do that like how do you know to do that and so when i get to the room guess who's still in there laying in the bed like he just yeah, like he ain't scared for his life like he you know what i'm saying him her boyfriend and so i look at her and she was like um yeah, I kind of had to set it off so I could sneak him in here, y'all. And I think she didn't tell me because she knew I would have, like, told the RA, hey, we're all finna blow up in, like, five minutes because my roommate is a sociopath and she's trying to sneak her dude in here to spend the night. I was so mad, y'all. This is where I tried to get her, like, kicked out of the room with me. Like, I wanted to get her, but that's going to be another story time. It's another story for another day. Stay tuned. When I tell you I'm pissed, I am pissed pissed y'all pissed 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 this girl has blown up the whole freaking study room the whole study room is over with it's nothing more it's nothing it's just smoked out the whole building smells like smoke like, i'm like are you is she are you okay like what i just want to know and to this day i still don't know her logic i'm just so confused like you would risk our life for that like, this is this is kind of spur of the moment like i said this was um i'm about to call her and see what she like i said we're still cool I'm about to call her and see what she was thinking. Let me hide her name. I'll FaceTime her so she can tell y'all her side of the story and what she was thinking because I don't know. Answer. I just texted her and told her to pick up because I want to know. Now that I've, I'm reliving this, this pain and suffering and traumatic event, now that I'm reliving this, I have to call her and see what she was. I, I have to see if she's okay in the head. You know what I'm saying? I have to see if she's like still going through stuff mentally because she's not okay. She's just not okay. Let me try to call her again. Oh gosh. She's not answering, guys. So I'm just going to pause it here. And um, when she calls back, we're, we're going to find out. We're going to get to the bottom of this. Call me Dr. Fee. Yeah, she didn't answer. So <laughs> mission aborted. But yeah, that is the story on how she almost tried to blow us up. The smell, um, it was like this burnt smell. I don't know. I can't explain. If you've ever had something to blow up in a microwave or, or if you've ever like put a um, silver spoon or fork or something like that in the microwave, then you know what it's like when a microwave explodes. You know that that sm smells like a scorched smell doesn't go out for like days. Room smelled like freaking scorched like smoke fire for about two weeks when you walk in the building from the first floor you can kind of smell it but once you get to the sixth floor where we were where the explosion happened you could really freaking smell you could really smell the fumes now, they eventually did find out that she was the one to do it um and she actually got in trouble for that like and like I said, this is all a part of me trying to get her kicked out of my room with me so yeah stay tuned for that now, 
Um, it was about a week later. I had turned her in because don't play with my life. What is you doing? What is you doing, sis? What is you doing? What? And she had. It, it was also other stuff that were adding up to you know our you know big fight or whatever. I actually need to ask her what they did to her, but I know she had gotten like a um a write up or something like that. And I think it's like you get three write ups before you expel from the school, if I'm not mistaken. So yeah, there was one of them. Directly after this incident happened, she went back down and she got his ID. She was like, oh, he left during the um, fire, but I have to go meet him to give him his license. So, of course, they gave him his license back. Um, gave her his license back to go give to him. And that's how he was able to sneak into our dorm and stay the night. It was freaking crazy. Even to this day, she's not right in the head. Like, something's wrong with her. I'm convinced. And if you're watching this, I'm sorry. I love you. But you're, you're, you're messed up in the head. Go get checked out. But yeah, y'all, thank y'all so much for watching this video. That is the end of this story time. Stay tuned for part two on when I actually try to get her kicked out of college. So, horror roommate from hell. We're good friends now, though. It was such I have so many college experiences that I need to do story times on because it was literally a movie. Um, and if I can go back and redo it, I go back and redo it the exact same way. Every single thing. Like, and I just do, I just do more. But yeah, y'all, that is it for this story time. If you like the story time, be sure to share if you care. And please don't forget to subscribe because you if you ain't subscribed yet, then what you doing? Thank y'all for watching and I'll see y'all in the next one.